show. Breaking news. I'm the coolest bird alive. <laughs> Aloha, Comets! I feel Aloha is a bit too tropical for this rainy weather. You're right, but that doesn't mean we still can't celebrate on this festive day. Festive day. You can't be serious, are of you? Of course I know what day it is. It's prom day! woo -hoo! To kick off this morning, let's announce our prom court. Congratulations to the following. Brooke Geddes and Zach Port. Maria Wood and Evan Imler. Marissa Ross and Eddie Mays. Maggie Bostert and Alex Alexander. Kaylee Ann McFarland and Brian Carter. Congratulations, seniors, and best of luck to all of you on court. But the prom info doesn't stop there. We have Jordan with a little prom history and a few reminders for today. Happy Friday, Comments. And did you know prom is probably the most famous school event in any town in the United States? Many know that prom events have existed for decades. However, they actually existed for more than 200 years. The first proms were in the early 1800s. They were known as a promenade. They were primarily thrown so young men could show their newly found manners and social standing. Boys were encouraged to wear their Sunday best and women dressed in dresses inherited from their mothers. The promenade was not a dance, but a tea party. They were only for the graduates and their families. Most colleges did not allow women to attend promenade. If women were to attend, it was only as relatives or dates for the graduating male. So if you are the age to go, be sure and check out your school's prom at least once. It's an experiment. It's, a, it's an experience you'll never get to get again. But for you, Central, prom is tonight at the Columbus Anthenaeum from 8 to 11 p.m. in the main ballroom. The theme is Starry Night. Prom tickets are on sale for $40 until noon today. Tickets will not be sold at the door of the Anthenaeum. And remember, to attend prom, you must be in school for at least four class periods today. Have fun tonight and be safe. Back to you, Anchors. Thanks, Jordan. The origins of prom are quite intriguing. We should be thankful that prom is a thing. Absolutely. But you want to know what I'm not thankful for? This weather. Take it away, Alicia. Good morning, Central. Happy Friday and also happy prom day. I wish I was able to tell you some good news about the weather tonight for prom, but it doesn't look too good. We'll have a high 65 and a low 49. It's going to be cloudy in the morning with thunderstorms battling later in the evening with winds blowing 5 to 10 to 15 miles per hour. Now, while it is clearing up later at night, please remember to drive safe. I mean, you should always drive safe, but especially at night. Don't do anything that could potentially harm you or others. Remember to have a fun prom back to you anchors. Thanks, Alicia. The weather reports it will be one rainy, stormy, terrible day for prom. I won't let that stop me from tearing up the dance floor, though. Woo! 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 Hey, woo! You're scaring me. I'm sorry. Next, let's talk about clubs. We have chess club today after school in room 180. Mr. Teich is the most fun ever, so plan to come and join chess club. There is still a lot to get involved in. And applications for student council for the 2023-2024 school year are available in the school counseling office. Applications are due no later than today at 3. And here's something else you can get involved in. The date for this year's junior-senior games have been set. The ladies will square off in football and the boys in volleyball on Monday, May 22nd. All we need now are teams. If you are a junior or a senior available to participate, sign up on Dr. Fuller's door, room 225. The cost to participate is $15. Questions? Talk to Fuller. Now, here's some more things happening. If you have a library book checked out, listen up. If you are a 2023 graduate, seniors, your books must be turned in by May 1st. All other students, your books are due May 22nd. If you do not return library books and material, the cost of replacement will be added to your fees. And speaking of books, the race to 25 has begun. The yearbook staff has 100 yearbooks left to sell, and whichever class gets to 25 first wins. And as a special treat, the 23rd buyer of each class gets a special prize. Currently, we have freshmen with four, sophomores with two, juniors with three, and seniors with five. We will do our best to update you on the standings as frequently as possible. Get your yearbook today. That 
was a lot of information, and I don't think I've gotten enough of it. Let's head over to Mikey with some more exciting news about our sports. What's up, Cuckoo Crossing? It's finally Friday, and I got your sports today. First, let's look at what we got going on today. Boys Varsity Tennis is playing away against Taze Valley at 430, and Boys Freshman and JV Baseball are playing away against Groveport Madison at 5. Now, this weekend, we got Girls and JV Softball playing at home against Canal Winchester at noon, and Girls JV Softball is playing again with Varsity at home against Bishop Waterson High at 2. Now, all this is still up for question given the rain, but now you got some stuff to look forward to this weekend, Central. I love you, and I hope you have a great weekend. Back to you, Lincoln. Thanks, Mikey, and good luck to our athletes. Now, please rise for the pledge. The pledge stands for so many things in our country and shows another way to support all those who fought for us. Here's Logan to lead us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Logan, and thank you to all who participated. Well, Central, that's it. Oh, no, no, no. We have another reminder. Senior baby pictures for the yearbook are due to Dr. Fuller today. Okay, now that's it. Have a safe and fun prom, everyone. Please be careful today. You heard the prom meeting yesterday, and you sh also should have tried out that simulation at lunch. It was quite the experience. Though, that's, that's it from, from us. us. We, we hope, hope to see you out on the dance floor. floor. And I sure know me and Eddie will see each other. Bye.